Today, we hear about temptation. Temptation, that word that just makes us cringe a little bit, that causes scandal, that causes drama. When we think of temptation, we think of sexual lust, drugs, alcohol, all the things that mother told us to, told us to avoid. So with all of these temptations, did we notice that the devil never tempted Jesus with any of these things? The devil is much smarter, very, very clever, and he knows our deepest and biggest temptation, pride and power. Basically, the devil comes up to Jesus, prove yourself. If you are the Son of God, if you really are the Son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. If you really are the Son of God, throw yourself down because the angels will pick you up. Jesus passes these two tests, and the devil turns to power. Then the devil took him up to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms in the world, their magnificence. Brothers and sisters, we are too busy with the obvious temptations, that we don't see the times the devil helps build up our mountains. When someone comes up to us and questions us, how many times do we feel this inkling, this annoying little prick that says, prove yourself? As a student, we have to prove ourselves in the classroom. As men, we have to prove our masculinity. As religious, we have to prove our holiness. It's always this never-ending game of listing the things we've done, the things we've said, the things we've accomplished, in order to build our mountains up so that we feel good about ourselves. Until ultimately, we found ourselves powerful on this high mountaintop, overlooking the kingdoms of the world as if we were God himself. We read in Genesis what the serpent says to Eve, No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like gods who know what is good and what is evil. The reality is, we all come to the tree of knowledge. We all come to the tree for different reasons. We have, each one of us has a certain recording in our head that plays over and over and over again. If I assert myself, then no one will have power over me. If I have this one thing, then I won't feel deprived. If I achieve this or know this, I won't be seen as defective or useless. And if I do this, then I will have worth. Brothers and sisters, basically what our tape recorder is saying, this is how I operate. If you take this away from me, then I'll die. We all come to that tree of knowledge. We all come with a sense and a desire for security. And again, we build up this mountain. We keep proving ourselves continuously. But what happens when someone sheds a different light on our security blanket? What happens if that thing we've accomplished, that thing we did, that thing we said, isn't so perfect? Did you really deserve that A? Did you really earn that position? What happens if someone asks that question and then our entire foundation, our mount, sh sh shambles, falls into shambles? Brothers and sisters, it's obvious. The only foundation that will not crumble is the what Jesus uses against the devil's attack, our God. We all have a tape recorder in our heads that tells us if we don't do this, if I don't have this, if I don't say that, then we'll fall into shambles, and that is a lie. This Lent, I dare that we push back. When that tape recorder starts, push back and ask ourselves the following. Will the world really end if I don't help him? Will the world really end if I go outside with my hair looking like a mess? Will, I, will the world really end if I get a C on my paper? 
As an Asian American, when I say I see on my paper, I literally am dying inside. <laughs> if I get one, I will go to my room and cry. I'll get over it, <laughs> but I need to go through the process. It hurts. So, brothers and sisters, find that thing that hurts. I'm sorry, it's going to be painful, it's going to be annoying, but it's how we leave this foundation that will shamble and grow one in God. Remember what Jesus said, the Lord your God shall you worship and him alone shall you serve. Brothers and sisters, as we venture out, we will feel that need to prove ourselves, to build up that mountain. If I just have this, if I just say this, then I'll be something. Mm -hmm. The reality is, we already are something. Amen. We don't have to prove it to God. All we have to do is build our mountain with Him as the foundation. Amen.